Hello and welcome to another episode of Game Hammer Live Game Coding. And yes, that was necessary, the, the ridiculousness. That's how we roll here, downhill and at speed. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are, of course, going to be uh, doing some fun stuff. And the stuff that's fun is, of course, coding this new game. I think we'll enjoy it. I think we will. So let's see who's in the chat. We have Martin Vegas, who says, First, Sir Patrick Furlong and Melody the Cat. Meow. And... Hillside Junction, who says, not first. <laughs> I seem to have not been first either, even though it's my thing and I should have been able to. <laughs> it's just how it goes. What is uh, the situation today? Well, of course, we are coding the Japanese style role playing game. Hmm. I know that uh, there was a, a thing a few months ago, may even have been late last year, where uh, Japanese developers said that they really didn't like uh, the differentiation between role-playing games and JRPGs. And uh, I kind of understand what they were saying. There was a, there was a suggestion that the, a Japanese role-playing game wasn't a real role-playing game or was a very different beast to a, a real role-playing game. And that's not how I've ever used it. But I get where they're coming from because they are very different. So... How do you change this? Perhaps we should go back to CRPG. Do you remember the term CRPG, computer role-playing game? I remember that. It was uh, from the early days of uh, gaming. Uh, well, the early days of PC gaming becoming mainstream, let's put it that way, where stuff like Baldur's Gate was regarded as a CRPG, a computer role-playing game, as opposed to standard role-playing game where you sit at a table with your friends and roll dice, and then uh, one of them would get really, really too into it, <laughs> then cry when their character died. Uh, these things happened. I'm not speaking for myself, honest. But you get the idea. So perhaps we should bring that back. Only instead of C for computer, character role-playing game. Japanese style role playing games have very deep characterization, very deep storylines, and I think a character role playing game explains it more than like an ARPG, an action role playing game, which is like Dark Souls or, uh, well, a lot of the time Dungeons and Dragons, especially fourth edition Dungeons and Dragons, which is essentially just combat with a bit of role playing on it. So perhaps we should do that. So there could be different types of RPG. There'd be an action role-playing game or a character role-playing game. I like that idea. That way, Baldur's Gate, uh, Planescape, Torment, and all of that would be CRPGs, the same as Final Fantasy, you know? Hmm. Maybe that would work, because there are different styles of role-playing game. And despite what uh, the implications might have been in the, the views of uh, Japanese creators, there is a difference between the type of role-playing game that they create and the type of role-playing game that I'm creating here and something like Dark Souls, even though From Software, I think, is actually Japanese. For some reason, I thought they were Polish, but I think they are actually Japanese. So you get the idea, though. See what I mean? I'd love to hear your comments on it. Uh, so what have we got in the chat? Uh, Hillside Junction says, good evening. Good evening to you. And Sir Patrick says, I've been sorting out the bugs in Batman the Adventure that uh, we discovered last night on Monday Club. Excuse me. It wasn't Monday Club. It was Monday Night Live. Monday Club's the train one that was on with Jen. Monday Night Live is the gaming one. Oh, and I've also written in that Zoe's been using the Penguin's Warehouse to store her hoard of games. <laughs> no. They're mine. All oh, mine. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, I love my games. Right. Shall we begin? I have to find the button and press it. I think this is it. No. There! There it is! Ha-ha! Now I see it. Now I see it. Do you see it? I do. Do you do 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 I have no idea what I'm frickin' talking about. What am I doing with my life? So, yes. What were we doing? I... Oh my goodness. We had to do something last week. And I can't for the life of me remember what it was. Okay. First things first, then. Um, okay. 
Let's do this. First things first, I'm going to bring up last week's thing because I forgot to write down. There was this thing that, that we were going to do and it was important and I cannot for the life of me remember what it was. So I'm going to bring up last week's show and try and remember by listening to what I said at the end what it was we were actually doing. What? Someone has just put up a video and it just says, Breaking news. Star Trek next galaxy-wide threat. Very heartbreaking news. It will shock you. Yeah, that doesn't sound like clickbait, does it, ladies and gentlemen? That sounds that sounds like an absolutely standard type of thing you would write on a on a of a on a on a YouTube title. Yeah. So I'm just bringing up my um my stuff here. Uh, this is my channel, which is why I haven't got it on screen. <laughs> so that uh, all the information that you're not supposed to share is not shared. So let's see where was my last one. There it is. Uh, Let's make games coding a new JRPG. So let's do this. Let, I keep sitting too low down. So let's let's sit like that. To keep my back proper so that I don't end up with huge amounts of problems. There we go. Right. Oh, for goodness sake. Who's trying to CD key? No, get off my screen. Oh my goodness. Someone trying to sell CD keys. That's ridiculous. Okay, let's jump in from about near the end and see what was going on. Something in the background is playing a sound. What is... what? Oh, the video's playing. Why can't I hear it? Why can't I hear the, the video? Oh, I've turned off my... Okay, there we go. Let's bring this up. Okay, we needed a rubber duck. Okay, so I've got to write this down this time because I'm... Ah, <laughs> bone. I remember now. Yeah, bone lord. So we needed to code a rubber duck. So we need to code a rubber duck. I remember vaguely now. Okay. I saw that video. Someone was looking into it and found the person selling CD keys was selling his own game. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. I'm I'm very, very wary of anything that shows that sells CD keys. Because nine times out of ten, it's some guy in Russia who has stolen this stuff and is selling it uh to uh to fund criminal activities. Because that's what uh, one of the big CD key uh, websites back in the day was. And I am very wary of that. As a game designer myself, I don't like the idea of uh, these CD key resellers. Because you can't tell whether it's legitimate. Why am I looking over there when the camera's there? Because you can't tell if it's legitimate. Actually, sod it. Let's, let's move this to where, obviously, I'm looking at. So, can I have the, the cable? There we go. So I'm looking over here, basically. Um, can I, if I can't tell where a game key is coming from, then I don't want it. That's my view. You get, you know, you get me. You know, I think that's see, that's a, not a bad view to have. If I can't tell you where this came from, I don't want it because I don't know whether it's legitimate or not. I, all I want is a, a camera to stay in a decent place so that things can be nice. And the world can be nice. 
how about putting it there? It's almost almost directly next to the camera that we use on the other computer. That's about as good as it's going to get. So yeah, I don't like the the idea of these things where the the CD key could come from anywhere. I want to, I want to know that the person who made the game is actually getting the money, and I can't. So I won't use CD resellers. But maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. So shall we start coding the game? Let's do that. Da -da -da. Hello to Trains Kits and the Mighty Space Chicken. How are you doing? Yeah, Martin Vegas, I'm on this. I'm on, I'm on the same page as you. I wouldn't buy any keys. Yeah, neither nor I. I just don't like the idea. So we've got a code in this rubber duck. I can't remember where the rubber duck thing was. It's somewhere around here, isn't it? So, oh yeah, this is the this is the area. Uh, edit here. I I have got this on screen, haven't I? Yes, I have. Good. So let's do this. So we're looking for a rubber duck, and I need to know what the code was for the rubber duck. So if we're looking for change out in book book of bone lord. Uh, so we need an if check for a rubber duck. If party has a small rubber duck, there we are. Right, the rubber duck is there. So the it has been created. Okay, so where's the check to find the rubber duck? Is it in one of these chests? Is it in this one? I have a feeling it was in this one, isn't it? Yes, change items to a small rubber duck. However, we have to get... We've got a guy there. I want to add something else in. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to create a new event here. And uh, we're going to have a, an event where it turns itself off by having that. And then it does nothing. Its image is nothing. And here we are. So this is a magical barrier. There's a barrier. Keys. Yeah, we're talking about key resellers and how I don't like them because they suck. <laughs> So here we are. Do, 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 do. We need something, essentially, like a door, a gate, or a switch, or something. Oh, flames! <gasps> oh, we've got all kinds of options. Yeah. Other, we could have. What are these? They look like interesting stuff. Russian criminals got to pay the bills. Yeah. Here we go. Right here we go. We've got all kinds of interesting things, so we can do all kinds. I like this. I like this a lot. Crystals. Here we are. Right, here's the magic barriers. This is what we want. Ladies and gentlemen, we have something special. Let's go for Fiery Blue. Da -da -da. My new game comes today. Exp Expeditions, a mud runner game. I keep getting the truck stuck. Cool. I, I just picked up a one called Home. It's a it's an older game, uh, but it still checks out. <laughs> oh, I made myself laugh. If I didn't, then who else would? <laughs> Not me. Mm. Tonight's beverage of choice is full fat Coke. I'm trying to wean myself off the diet stuff because I am certain that aspartame is not good for you. So. Colonel Ward says, can we create an uh, at Ryland or Jedward? <laughs> I can kill you with rainbow powers. <laughs> Rainbows. <laughs> yeah, we could do something like that. I, I, I like the idea of something like that. Right, priorities, same as characters. Movement is fixed. So we're going to create a magical barrier. And the idea of this is that we don't want to be able to get toward the rubber duck too quick. So... Here's a barrier. We need to be able to get past it. So if we just click on it, new, let's do this, new, show text. Can we have a face of just monsters? No, we haven't got anything that's just a barrier. So let's just leave that off. The passage is blocked by a pillar i have no idea what a, pi a pillar is a pillar of intense blue hued 
light. You can barely look at it without feeling pain in your skull. It doesn't appear to be warm, but it is rather solid. You can't get past. Can't get past it. There we go. So, hi Tim, how you doing? There we go, so apply that. Okay. So, if that's all that we've got there, then that's it. And uh, let's do this now. New. Now we have a control switch for grain progression. Let's... No. We need uh, an item check, don't we? Uh, where's our checks on on inventory? Oh, I know we've got an inventory check. I know we've got an inventory check. Change items? No. Ah, here we are. Conditional branches. Yes, this is what we want. Conditional branch on items. Actor, enemy, item. Here we go. If we have a... There we are. If we have item 15, then we have the option of doing something. So, new. Item 15 will be a pillar of autumn. Because it's just a nice little <laughs> Halo reference. The small suit figurine in your pocket begins to vibrate. As if by magic, the leaves from the, the leaves on the tree of the pillar of autumn statuette seem are falling constantly toward the ground. There's something in the back of your mind. Um, no, let's leave that there. Take this out toward the ground. New. Show text. Something in the back of your mind is telling you the pillar may have something to do with the magical barrier before you. Here we go. Da -da -da. You didn't fancy downloading Unreal Engine and letting us in chat join in. Why would I download Unreal Engine? We're making a JRPG. I've got a JRPG program here. I've got a, a maker so that we can do this, and it's really cool. Magical barrier before you. So, let's do this. New. Show choices. Hold the pillar of autumn aloft. Touch the pillar of push the pillar to the barrier. Hold the pillar aloft. Let's let's cut these down so that they're not too long. For those of you who can hear knocking, banging, or whatever, I don't know if it'll come through on this microphone. But uh, for those of you who uh, can hear that, uh, my neighbours are doing something. I have no idea what. But uh, last week they were learning to play guitar. This week they appear to be banging on the walls. I have no idea what's going on. Hold the pillar off. Touch the pillar to the barrier. Lick the pillar. So why not uh, put the pillar
back in your pocket. The cancel choice is four. Right, so we've got some options now. Hold the pillar aloft. Show text. Feeling compelled to follow the instructions in the back of your mind, you hold the pillar of autumn aloft. Hi, Iron Horse. How are you doing? Evening. Right. What are we creating this week at the Nonsense Factory? <laughs> Very true. Um, Iron Horse, uh, we found your sunglasses. If you're looking for them, they're in my lounge. So I've uh, put them to one side and they're here for whenever. Uh, show choices. So we've held the loft, the pillar of autumn. You want someone's going Aspo for, for practicing your base. Where were you practicing it? Buckingham Palace, you get an Asbo for that. Uh, say something. Wait. Say. What are I pressed? Oh my goodness. Shift tab. Oh, I hate this. There we are. Say. Why? What the frick? What? 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 Come on. Can I? Yeah. Say something weird. Say something. Put the pillar away. There we go. There's our options. Oops. There's our options. I was I asked Jen and she said you found them. I shall collect them when I return your coaches. Cool. Wait, say something. I'll put the pillar away. You. <laughs> Cancel. Cancel. I need uh, some choices there. So before this, new, I'm going to put a label. Held aloft. Me and two friends were learning to play, by, play something by the Mad Capsule Markets. Is that the name of the band? <laughs> or is that something else? I am that bad. Yes, I am. You wait. Nothing seems to happen. And then new go to label. Jump to label. Held a loft. So I didn't really know what this is, or there's like specific engines you got to use for certain games. I only heard Unreal, CryEngine, Unity, and Frostbite. Right, th fair enough. Well, this is uh, this is called RPG Maker MV. It's a uh, it's a program. I believe it's by a Japanese studio that uh, creates Japanese style role playing games. It gives you a load of uh, icons and uh, tiles and images you can use but you can introduce your own and later in the game when i'm uh, cr when i've uh, created the majority of the the game we've got a real feel for what's going on i'm going to replace all of the tile sets and everything with my own art so that we've got a very unique look to it but right now we're getting a feel for the uh, stuff here and we'll see how it goes we're getting a feel for how, what we want the game to to sound like and it'll be fun <laughs> and we'll see how it goes from there but i've got an art style in in mind it's going to be ridiculous it's going to look like a living comic that's that's the kind of style i'm going for <laughs> so we've got a, a thing where you can wait uh say something we'll ask for that put the pillar away new uh jump to label for for jump put away so put the pillar back in your pocket this is the where it is new a label put away basically all of them can jump to put away new did i manage to get any progress with my 
boxorama. Okay, the box diorama. For those of you who don't know what that is, uh, I'm creating a. Uh, give me a second. I'll bring this up on screen more. Uh, do, 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 do. For those of you who don't know, I'm creating a small model railway in a in a box file. Uh, the standard thing that you would hold. Uh, in fact, I've got a box file here. This is a box file. It's a it's a nice uh, solid way of uh, holding paper, various files, various bits of paperwork, stuff like that. But it's fairly solid and it's portable, incredibly portable. Let me put this back. And it's the kind of thing that uh, you can put a lot of stuff in and keep it protected. So I decided we could have a little model railway in there. So Iron Horse came around yesterday and we were working on this. And he's uh, designed a nice little uh, set of track for me for, for the railway. And then I'm going to decorate everything with uh, little dioramas. We've got holes in either side of the box file so that uh, it, it can connect to other files. We're going to make a, a basically a modular model railway that anyone can join in with. Or, and uh, we talked about it on the Monday Club mo live stream on the Jenny Kirk channel. So the idea of this is it's going to be fun and uh, I'm doing a, a, at least one of these boxes and uh, at the moment Iron Horse, the only thing that I've done with it is uh, spray the inside of the box with um, a, uh, a matte white primer so that I can paint into it. I'm going to paint the ground to give it like a dirt texture and it's going to be rather cool. I'm going to paint uh, a skyline onto uh, the sides of it and the uh, in, in a flap of the uh, thing so that it'll look cool and uh, we'll see how we go from there but that's that's how what I've got so far it's dr the primer's drying at the moment and then I'm going to put in all the stuff and I'm going to make some videos about it so do uh, look out for that it's going to be rather cool. <laughs> Let's get back to this. How are we doing? Let's bring this one again. Spoke to my missus and she loves the idea. She's hopefully going to make a simple uh, scenic section. So we'll have at least three sections to play with. We'll have four because Jenny is definitely getting involved. And I think that's going to be great. <laughs> right. So, yeah, it's going to be really cool. And you guys are, of course, welcome to join in. So we're on the, the put away. So we're going to add here a, a bit of text. Uh, Feeling a little silly, you stuff the colour of autumn back in your pits. <laughs> there we go. And that will end the event. So we just leave from there. New. Uh, end exit event processing. There we go. Right. So we can touch the pillar to the barrier or we can say something. Oh, we're going to have some fun here. <laughs> say something. What will you say? Four sections. Hmm, I've got another idea now. Oh, are you suggesting we make it into a kind of square? That would be cool. <laughs> Show choices. Well, obviously it's going to be by the power of gray skull <laughs> uh, what else could we say what can what superhero phrases could we say <laughs> ah melon <laughs> melon Oh, hang on. What was it that Gandalf says? It It is melon, but it's not. He, he doesn't call it melon. My goodness, I've pa I've paused that and everything. We're going. Hmm. <laughs> Gandalf says melon. Yeah. What does melon mean in Elvish? Melon or melon is a cinderella. In an older world for friend. Yes, speak friend and enter. <laughs> Melon's an elvish word. But it's not actually melon, is it? What's the elvish friend for... Yeah, melon. It is, is it melon? I was sure it had a... Uh, a um, set of... Uh, thingamajigs. What does Gandalf say in front... 
Gates of the Elves open for me. Anon it helen edro he amen. He does say that in the film as well. Yeah, edro he amen. <laughs> oh. I just like the idea. Used to yonk box files from my mum's job at the university and make little railways in them. Yeah, box files are cool. Speak, friend, and enter. In response, Gantha says, Melon. But I was sure it had accents. Moria has seen Tolkien Gateway. I want to make sure it's correct. Yeah, so he just says, Melon. Okay. Apparently, we're just shouting melon with two L's, right? <laughs> melon. What else could we say? Um, open says me. Open, says me. <laughs> Instead of uh, says me. <laughs> uh, Cantar loop. <laughs> okay, let's put that in. We've got options. We've got places. We plenty of space. <laughs> Open, says me. Open the pod bay doors. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. Ah, uh, say nothing. And the council choice is six. So, by the power of Grayskull. As you hold aloft the pillar of autumn, a phrase. Claws its way up from the depths of your mind. From the depths of a childhood well spent in front of the magic theatre. box in your parents lounge back home <laughs> you cry out by the power of skull Show text. Sadly, nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> and then we jump to put away. Here, yeah, what's all this in aid of then? Hello, Captain Dowd. And then we jump to label. Put away. Feeling a little foolish, you put the pillar of autumn away. <laughs> By the way, none of these phrases are going to work. <laughs> I just thought I'd point that out. <laughs> so actually, I'm going to grab that now. Copy that to here. Yeah, sorry, wrong place. To here. And to here. And to here. And to here. And to here. So, we say melon, new, show text. As you hold aloft the pillar, a phrase comes into your mind. It's a phrase from an ancient tome you once read 
but can't quite recall when or where you read it. Da -da -da. And then we'll say it. <laughs> Show text. Actually, cancel that. Cancel that. We might as well uh, grab this and put it in the same place. We'll cry out. There we go. Edit this now so that we're keeping it uh, keeping it correct. Cry out. Melon. <laughs> Nothing happens. Cantaloupe. So let's do this. As you hold aloft the pillar of autumn, its tiny diorama leaves tapping you on the forehead as they fall. Let's do this. I don't want to as twice in the same sentence. You hold aloft the pillar of water with its tiny diorama leaves tapping on the forehead as they fall. An idea forms in your mind of what to say. You don't know what it means or why you are compelled to say it. Here we go. <laughs> it's going to be ridiculous, this. It's absolutely going to be ridiculous. <laughs> you cry out. Cantaloupe! Why are we shouting cantaloupe? Cantaloupe. Oh, dear. New. Oh. Oh, hang on. My screen's got the screen saving mode. There we go. So, let's do this. Show text. Now, this one's open sesame. There's an old magical phrase that you recall only vaguely thanks to a misspent youth mostly involving sitting around in a shed with some friends and drinking lots of <laughs> barely fermented pooch. <laughs> this is the stupidest thing I have ever written. <laughs> this is a, this game is ins insanity. You cry out. <laughs> Open says me. <laughs> Open says me. <laughs> and then nothing happens. This has to be the stupidest thing. Right. Sadly, nothing happens. I forgot to put that bit in, all of them. So let's do that as well. Sadly, nothing happens. Sadly, nothing happens. Sadly, nothing happens. Sadly, nothing happens. There we go. This game is a digital fever dream. I love it. Isn't it great? Okay, let's do this. Show text. Oh, I could have answered Space Chicken when he offered Wingman as a sidekick in the Batman game. Ah, well, we'll try that next time. So, <coughs> from the depths of your mostly pickled brain, <laughs> you recall a strange 
phrase you once saw in a theater production. You wonder if it will work better here than it did during that play. <laughs> Sadly, nothing happens. <laughs> <Your sex tape. laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. okay, copy that. Edit. Open the pod bay doors. How? Sadly, nothing happens. <laughs> Touch the pillar to the barrier. Lick the pillar. Okay, let's do lick the pillar. What ever thought crossed your mind that compelled you to stick out your tongue and lick the pillar of autumn must be rolling around laughing now you gently lick the diorama of an autumn of autumnal tree getting Here we go. Autumnal tree. Dot, 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 dot. Oh. <laughs> Show text. Dot, dot, dot. You get nothing more than the strong taste of wood and a few mouth Sorry, no. Strong taste of wood and a few tiny leaves in your mouth. This seems like a very bad deal. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then uh, put away. Jump, go jump to label put away copy that <laughs> that's the stupidest thing ever so touch the pillar to the barrier the pillar of autumn vibrates gently as you lift it up and hold it out toward the barrier. The tree begins to grow larger and more lifelike, not like like life like as the power of the barrier is absorbed into it. New. Suddenly, the tree glows an intense blue with a flash of light both it and the barrier vanish. There we go. So, we're now going to uh, da -da 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 -da, new change items. It'll be this one, number 15. Decrease by one. So we lose the pillar of autumn. We will put that in in a moment. And new, we're going to change the uh, self switch on this. 
so I'll switch A on, which removes the barrier. And end event processing. Okay. Tools. Now we have to go to the database for the items. Where's our items? There it is. The pillar of autumn. A small, lifelike diorama of a tree in autumn times. And its icon will be... Do we have anything like a leaf? Or a pillar? We've got a crystal. Oh, oh, what have we got here? Yes. Some of these could work, actually. Some of these could work. I suppose we could use that there. Ha, <laughs> we got an ocarina. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, we'll just use that as a pillar of autumn. Okay. There's also going to be a pillar of summer. Let's do that. <coughs> Let's do that one as well. The pillar of summer but we haven't found that one yet because i haven't I haven't worked out what we're going to do with that one as yet in summer times and it will be the same icon i cannot find it there it is same icon there we go is it a regular item no it's a key item its price ten thousand is it consumable no <laughs> Pillar of Autumn, same thing. Regular item, no. Key item, price, 10,000. You can't sell it, but I wouldn't. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, now check on this. Edit this. If the party has the Pillar of Autumn, and then we lose the Pillar of Autumn somewhere. Where is it? Pillar of Autumn minus one. Okay, so now we're going to check all of this. We're going to check all of this to make sure it works. Save that. And no, don't start there. Set a starting point. Set starting position for the player. Right, let's try this. Save changes the game. Yes, of course. Do, 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 do. Here we are. The quest for the game hammer. We go in. The passage blocked by a pillar of inf intense blue hued light. You can barely look at it without feeling pain in your skull. It doesn't appear to be warm, but it is rather solid. You can't get past it. Because we don't have the pillar of autumn, that's all we can do. Because I just remembered, we haven't picked it up. So. Instead, we're going to start over here. Set starting position. Player. And in here, edit. New. We're going to give the player the Pillar of Autumn from this chest just to test things out. We will not be keeping the Pillar of Autumn in that chest because otherwise, what's the point? Save the changes. Let's go. Da, 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 da. Quest for the game armor. Open that. Open the chest. Find four energy drinks. We've got the Pillar of Autumn as well, which is cool. This guy's going to get in our way, so we're going to defeat him in battle. A zone mook emerged. <laughs> we must argue uh, with a rant and another rant. A savage burn is the music too loud let me just quickly check that it's coming through you guys can't hear oh my goodness 
um, that bit where I was re looking at the re at the previous episode, you wouldn't have heard that, would you? Because I'd accidentally turned the sound off. That's just wonderful. That is fantastic, and also exactly what I didn't want to happen. That's great. Thank thanks very much, game. That's great. So you guys must have been really confused when I was talking about something that you couldn't hear. <laughs> right, attack the zone, Mook. Magic of rant. Yes, someone unleashes a rant. Oh my goodness, look at that. We've got a third person there, but it's not got a name. Oh my goodness, we've got a... Right, we'll have to deal with that because we've got a bug in the game now where we've got three people. We haven't got three people. That's just ridiculous. A magic rant. We haven't changed the code for that yet. Savage burn on the zone mook. And the third random dude, rant... <laughs> Melody shoots a savage burn. There we are. <laughs> During battle, you can play as a mighty who's special move is lecture on the Game Boy Color version of Harry Potter. That's great. <laughs> Someone else is now level three. We haven't got a person there. All right. Let's... His own mook crumbles to dust, leaving only a pile of enchanted mook crystals behind. You pick them up because you never know when you'll need an enchanted mook crystal or two. This game... This game is... I don't even remember what we were going to do. I can't even remember what we were going to do with the enchanted mook crystals. We'll come back to that later. Oh, it's the ghost wonk, is it? Right. Here we go. The passage is blocked by a pillar of intense blue-hued light. You can barely look at it without feeling pain in your skull. It doesn't appear to be warm, but it is rather solid. You can't get past it. The small figurine in your pocket begins to vibrate. Begined. We'll have to change that. Begins to vibrate as if by magic the leaves of the tree of the Pillar of Autumn statuette are falling constantly toward the ground. Something in the back of your mind is telling you the pillar may have something to do with the magical barrier before you. So, do we hold the pillar aloft, touch the pillar to the barrier, lick the pillar, or put the pillar back in your pocket? We lick the pillar. Whoever th whatever thought crossed your mind that compelled you to stick out your tongue and lick the pillar of autumn must be rolling around laughing now. You gently lick the diorama of an autumnal tree. Autumnal? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> You get nothing more than a strong taste of wood and a few tiny leaves in your mouth. Being a little silly, you stuff the Pillar of Autumn back in your pocket. Right, so we're going to have to do some spelling checks here <laughs> and corrections. So let's do this. Shall we... Uh... Yeah, here we go. Hold the Pillar aloft. Feeling compelled to... <laughs> What is with you and licking things? <laughs> you can blame James Pets. He wanted to lick a generator in a text adventure that I wrote. So either late 2020 or... Sorry, sorry, late 2022 or early 2023. Strong wood. Oh my. <laughs> Feeling compelled to follow the instructions in the back of your mind, you hold the pillar of autumn aloft. Wait. Say something or put the pillar away. Let's wait. You wait. Nothing seems to happen. Wait. Say something. I'll put the pillar away. Let's put. Let's say something. What will you say? By the power of Grey Scroll. Melon. Cantaloupe. Open. Says me. Open the pod bay doors. How? I'll say nothing. By the power of Grey Scroll. As you hold a lock. I need a sword. I need a sword. I've got a lightsaber. As you hold aloft the Pillar of Autumn, a phrase claws its way up from the depths of your mind. From the depths of a childhood well spent in front of the magic theatre box in your parents' lounge back home. You cry out, by the power of Greyskull. Sadly, nothing happens. <laughs> Feeling a little silly, you stuff the Pillar of Autumn back in your pocket. Thank you so much for coming along tonight, Iron Horse. Take care, and I hope you get well soon, dude. I really do. I hope you get well soon, and hopefully we'll see you soon, too. Take care. Right, we've got to try that again. <laughs> so, obviously these things are going to work, but we've got to check them all, just in case. It begin to vibrate, yeah. That's great spelling there, Zoe. <laughs> Hold the pillar aloft. 
We say something. We say, Melon. A phrase from an ancient tome you once read, but can't quite recall when or where you read it. You cry out, Melon. Sadly, nothing happens. Yeah, so it's all working. Then let's put it this way. Finally, we try the final thing. Do, 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 do. Something in the back of your mind telling you the pillar may have something to do with the magic thing. Touch the pillar to the barrier. The pillar of autumn vibrates gently as you lift it up and hold it out toward the barrier. The tree begins to grow larger and more lifelike as the power of the barrier is absorbed into it. Suddenly, the tree glows an intense blue with a flash of light, but it and the barrier vanish. <gasps> And there we go, we can walk through now. The The event is still technically there, but we've essentially turned it off. So, there's only one more thing we need to do. We've got a very good uh, thing going there, but I think it could be better. So let's edit this. Where is it about the intense light? Where's the bit about the intense light? There it is. Power of the barriers involved into it. No, we don't know. We need an effect. We need an effect now, so let's do this. Uh, I know we can do this. We can change some fade in, fade out. Flash screen. So let's do this. We need uh, we need mostly blue. So let's turn that down. Turn that down. Yeah, look at that. Let's have it. Let's have it a nice light blue and intense. Yeah. Sixty frames for one sixtieth of a second. No, no that's uh, one hundred and twenty frames. There we go. So two sixtieths of a second. Okay. Now, that should uh, flash when we do this. Okay. As he is playing Hell Divers 2. I've heard about Hell Divers 2. I was reading something about it today. Huh. Also, I haven't spoken to Ezzy in years. Just realised. I used to hang out with him in Second Life. In a Doctor Who thing. That was fun. We had a lot of fun in Doctor Who in Second Life. Right. So we need to grab this thing. Da -da -da -ba 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 -ba. Right, we've got the thing in we dig that we need to believe. We need to defeat this mook. The Zone Mook! Zone Mook emerged. Argue. Magic. We will need to change magic and attack at some point because we're not actually fighting. We're debating. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, unleashes a rant. Earlier today I heard some covers of you spin me round in a style of Ramstein. Oh! I've... I've seen the guy who does those. He's really good. He's in the, those songs that he does are incredible. I love it. Right, magic, uh, savage burn on the zone book. And then we just have a random dude. We have to turn that off because it's very annoying. Melody shoots a savage burn. Right. We get the, uh, yep, yeah, enchanted mook crystals. So, let's do this. Let's make sure this works, and then we'll go and actually do the spelling uh, corrections that we need. Right, let's do this. Begin to vibrate. I. Why am I spelling wrong? I'm. I'm a. I'm a freaking lawyer. I should be able to write properly. <laughs> Touch the pillar to the barrier. Here they go. The pillar of autumn vibrates gently. Blah 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 blah. Oh. Yeah, that didn't work at all. I don't want... I wanted a flash of light. Can I not do a... F I thought that would have been a flash of light. You spin me right... And now I've got... I'm singing it as well in my head. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Like a record, baby. Right round, round, round. Half of one sixtieth of a, 
of a second. So one one hundred and twentieth of a second. Enough that you should be able to see it go. Psh. Right. Uh, pocket begins to vibrate. So we need begins. Edit that. Begins to vibrate. Was there anything else that we needed to change? Being compelled to follow the instructions in the back of your mind. Hold the pillow on the loft. Phrase cost uh, the old loft the pillar of autumn a phrase as you uh, from the depths of your mind from the depths of childhood well spent that looks about right so it has to be better look at it without feeling pain in your skull doesn't appear to be one but it is rather solid can't get past i did see a second one that we've done wrong is it in the one where we lick the the thing That was it. Lick the pillow. Whatever thought, whatever thought crossed your mind that compelled you to stick out your tongue and lick the pillar of autumn was rolling around laughing now. You gently lick the diorama for autumn null tree. Now it is. In missing game hammer, who do you think should be guilty of kidnapping Zoe? Clearly it should be some someone from a game I don't like. Autumnal tree. There we go. Right. From a game I don't like. Uh, and they should be forcing me to play the game again and again and again until uh, until I change my mind and decide I like it. <laughs> and it won't work because I won't like it. <laughs> Happy G maker. There we are. Quest for the game hammer. Game hammer. Hammer all the games. You're a qualified butcher fishmonger. Dementia palliative care worker, and you can't spell. <laughs> yeah, it, it just seems wrong, doesn't it? Like all these qualifications, can't can't write words, can't can't do words right. <laughs> I don't word. I have the brain. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> there you go. Right, let's do this. <laughs> the mighty space chicken and wingman had kidnapped Zoe in order for the force to play Count Duckula 2. To be fair, I don't like Count Duckula 2, so... <laughs> so it could be like that. There we go. <laughs> Quick wits found. Oh, nice. Right, so let's check out this thing. The passage is blocked by a pillar of intense blue hued light. You can barely look at it! <laughs> right, touch the pillar to the barrier, let's see how this goes. Yeah, there we go. Psh. Suddenly the tree glows in intense blue. There we go. What game would you consider a major violation of the Geneva Convention to make you play? <laughs> well, Count Duckula 2 isn't a game, it's congealed failure. <laughs> I, I did love that thing with uh, Yahtzee from uh, Zero Punctuation and now fully ramblomatic. Where it says, <laughs> Ride to Hell Retribution was congealed failure and it would have been less of an error to just not put the disc in the box. <laughs> Oh, I did love that one. It's so bad. <laughs> it is such a bad game. <coughs> the Simpsons skateboarding is also... Oh! Escape. Can we not cross that? We can't cross that barrier. We, we literally cannot cross... Right, we've got to change this. We can't play the game if you can't get into the thing. So, let's... Uh... Right, the, bar the barrier now works, so we edit this and remove the Pillar of Autumn from that chest because that's not where it's supposed to be. And we have to change 
some of uh, this layout because we just can't do this. We can't do it, man. We can't do it. Nope, nope, that's the wrong floor. That is the wrong floor. Wrong flooring. Wrong. It's it's flooring that is wrong. Right, now we should be able to get into everywhere that we need to get into. Can't walk. Uh, that doesn't matter. That's fine. Okay, that should be okay now. Right, so we can get her everywhere that we need to now. In the end, when Batman finds Robin tied to the roller coaster, Batman will get the chance to jump to freedom before the train strikes, leaving Robin behind. <laughs> <laughs> I won't kill you, but I don't have to save you. Yes, yes, you do. You're Batman. Of course you have to save him. We're not in the 1940s anymore. He doesn't fly around in a machine gun toting bat uh, plane. Yeah. Oh, big rig over the road, over the road racing. Yeah. Oh, desert frickin' bus. Oh my goodness, desert bus. There was no way I was playing that last night. For for start, I don't have it. But uh, <laughs> there was no way I was playing that. If you drive in desert bus for eight hours, you get one point. This is not a joke. That's what happens. That's actually what happens. It's ridiculous. Okay, there we go. So, right. This area is now set. We can get the rubber duck from the chest. Why there'd be a rubber duck in the chest, I don't know. But you can get the rubber duck from the chest. So that means we've finished that area now. It's only taken us an hour to get the, the joke there, to do the, the chest. But to do that, you have to get the, uh, the Pillar of Autumn, which is not in there. Do, 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 do. So let's add extras to this now. So let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do, 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 do. So Terra Secundus, one new area. Uh, it's going to be quite a wide one. Let's say 32. 34 is fine. Terra Secundus, two. And I'll just turn my screen back on. There we go. Terra Secundus 2. Uh, da -da -da. Background music will be... This is going to be a town. So let's play. That sounds a bit upbeat. Really weirdly upbeat. Oh, we don't... Actually, yeah. I like that, yeah. Okay, let's play that. Background sounds, have we got any for a city? Yes. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Right, there's our area. Tile set should be um, outside. Let's see what we get. Yeah. Okay, right. Let's do this. So we've got overworld. We need grass. Let's paint the entire thing in grass. Yes. Let's do this. We need kind of meadowy water. There's a, a lake, a, a river even, going through the entire place. It's going to be quite a substantial river in certain areas. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yes, I like that. That is nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This works this works quite well, in fact. <laughs> okay, so there's our river for, for this area. And Torus Secundus one one, two, three up from the bottom is where we come in. Oh, hey, three up on your bottom. Why why am I like why why am I like this? I don't know. I really don't know. One, two, three up on the bottom. There we go. Got that thing coming in now. Wingman is playing Formula One twenty thirteen and seems to have something personal against Jean Eric Virgin. I don't know the name. I'll I'll take your word for it of it being a personal vendetta. So we'll say yes, good or damn that man. 
I don't know why, but I'll agree. Because, yes. <laughs> yeah, let's put a bridge across, shall we? We're going to have a bridge there. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no! That doesn't seem right. Can I not have a... Br Can I not have a bridge that's just rickety? I want a rickety bridge. Where's a frickin' rickety bridge? Rickety bridge, rickety bridge, rickety bridge. Log bridges, there we go. Yeah. Okay, horizontal log bridge. That's better. Look at that. That's so much better. Yeah. There we go. Now that's better. Isn't that better? <laughs> Bridge spa. Ooh, cool. Cool. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, guys, look at that. Look at quality there. Yeah. No. Quality. Actually, that looks crap. Let's get rid of that. That won't work for this, what we're doing. Yeah, there, there we go. So we're okay. A mooring bollard. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. We So we could put a moor. Mooring thing here. No. No, it just looks weird. Let's leave it as it is. Let's leave it as it is. Right, we need to start building some buildings now. Because that, that's what we do. We build buildings out of builds. Mmm. Don't make this up honest. Right, we need some nice big buildings because this is a very fancy place. Yes, yes it is. Don't argue. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> uh dear. Let's have this. Oh, there. Nice outer wall. Yeah, this is going to be a nice big place. That looks pretty good. And we'll have a... An interesting roof. Yes. I like that. Okay, we've got a we've got an interesting building now. So let's put a a chimbley on it. There's a chimbley. There's a chimbley. And another one there. Yes. Maybe one in the middle as well. There we go. Okay, this is coming together. Interestingly, yes. Yes, it is. Don't don't lie. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a look at that. We've got. It looks like we've got um. In the roof, we've got windows in the in up at the top there, covered over by the uh, the roof. I like that. I like that a lot. Oops. Okay, that is cool. That is really. I like that. Yeah. Oh, guys, this is coming together nicely. So, hmm. Hmm. We're going to need a, a big one. We can have big wind. We can have all kinds. I want a big window there. No, that's the wrong thing. Stick a window here. A window here. That's interesting. That, that window's bigger. Some of these windows are really big, actually. Huh. There we go. Add a door. Where's a door? Where's the... Is this a... That's a window, is it? Okay. All right. Well, let's, uh... let's use an entrance there. There we go. We've got an entrance. I want to saw someone steer a narrow boat into a mooring pole. It was <laughs> terribly tragic, but slightly hilarious as the guy driving, well, sailing, it was ignoring the advice being given by his partner. Of course he was. And then drove straight into a pillar. Of course he did. <laughs> That's what happens when you're a git. <laughs> I shouldn't say things like that, but it is really funny. It really is. So, we've got a nice building there. I don't know what we're going to use it for just yet, but it's nice to have it. So, can we put any extra cool stuff like a... No? Hmm. I want to put a, a like a thing in the roof. That would be cool. Is there an option for a thing in the roof? Surely there's an option to stuff stuff in the roof. Like a window in the, in the, in the roof tiles. No? Oh. 
That's a real shame. I, I really fancy putting something in the roof. Never mind. Right, let's have another building. One that doesn't look the same as that one because we want different types for different things. Some of these will be quite small. Or Actually, let's have a one that's really tall for no explicable reason. Like It just happens to be really, really tall. <laughs> for no good reason. There we go. That looks pretty weird. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's going to have a... Hang on. Actually, why don't we just... No, that, let's, let's, deal, let's deal with this in a more legitimate manner. Just a, a tall thing. It's just there. Yeah. Control Z. It's really tall. Like that. Only not there we are so now it's huge and it just looks ridiculous but i like it yeah so let's do that let's uh get rid of all of this because it happened to have that uh stuff behind it actually might draw this let's do this yo I just want to make a really tall building for no good reason. Just because we can. I mean, th there's nothing stopping us. Oh, that's weird. There we are. Ah, that, oh, that's why it went weird last time. Okay. Now I know. That's good. Okay. So we've got that there. And another one there. So we've got several... And uh, do, 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 do. let's put this weird thing on the top of it because we can, and it looks ridiculous. And it's just some dude in a tower. There's the things with the oh, they have to be in a certain type of roof. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, well, there we are then. So, what's this guy for? What What's what's this tower for? It's probably where a wizard lives. And it'll be hilarious. Honest. Trust me. No, that's that just looks weird. Okay, so I was wanting to put stuff out, but never mind. So we've got that there, and that looks cool. We need to have... Uh... So what would this guy... What would this be? This could be the inn. And I was going to sign this as inn. <laughs> you drive a canal boat. I don't. I, I, you cannot prove that I drive a canal boat. You can't prove anything, governor. That just looks weird to have that there. Okay, can't <laughs> prove now. <laughs> oh dear, I, uh, I, I, I am a mature adult, honest. Honest. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, put some more buildings in. We need some more buildings. Something that's interesting and cool. Do 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 do. do. Uh, for the foot. Well, actually, let's just think. We should probably fence the entire place off. Because I think Terra Secunda's one is... Yeah, it's fenced off. So let's do that. We fence the entire place off on the grounds that people are dodgy. Yeah. So we're doing this to fence the entire town off from the world. There we go. There will be like ways in, honest. <laughs> but uh, at the moment there aren't. So that's because I don't. Do we have any gates? Do we actually have gates as an option? No, no, no. We don't. Well, well, we'll. We'll put some gates in, I suppose. Uh, do, 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 do. There's a gate here. And there's a gate here. And there's a gate here. There we are. That's our ways in and out of this place. We gotta get out of this place. If it's the last thing we ever do. So let's put uh, there. Oh, we've got nice wooden walls. I like this. Yeah, let's have a wooden building over here. It's not a very big one. But it's quite a wide one. 
There you are. Weird building. Right, uh, what would we use this one for? It's probably something weird. Um, it's like a... Well, it could be a tavern, I suppose, but... Could... Let's have it as a uh, a weapons place. There we go. There's going to be one tiny window in it. There we go. There. <laughs> it's not the biggest place, but it is there, and it does do stuff. Uh, we need another building as well. We, we basically need this place to look like it's a legitimate venture, you know? Legitimate uh, location. Somewhere that people would want to go. Yeah, so, what's up there? On this one, we can have a big set of roof. Roofy doofies. Can we put that? Uh, not sure about that. No, that's just wrong. That doesn't look right at all. So, let's go back to the other stuff where we've got, we've got a roofing. Uh, do -do 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 cocky tiles, nice. Let's do that, and then to give the impression that they hang over a, a bit and cast a shadow. There we are. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. We will set all of these up as uh, places, of course, and make sure that everything works out nice, because that's what we do. Yep, yeah, that looks good. One of these windows is now closed. Ha <laughs> ha! That is... I like that. I like that a lot. Actually, that's cool. Yeah. There's another one there. <laughs> right. Um, We need a doorway in as well. So a door there. And this one will be a bank. And that's where we'll find another banker. We'll copy him in from the other other place where we did it already. So that it's basically the same thing. You know? That's how we do it. Right. <coughs> right, we need to a path. We need to all the paths done nicely. So that was a that was a wide dirt one in a meadow. That's this one's in snow. Let's go for that one again. Do 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 ba ba da 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 do 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 ba 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 da 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 do do ba 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 da ba ba da ba do Right. That looks interesting, but we need more thing. We need more buildings and stuffs, don't we? We definitely need more stuffs. Let's put in a couple more buildings. There won't be a huge amount more, but we should have some more. Let's have a squat building over here. This could be like the book publishers that we need to go and see at some point. Yeah. There we go. So we don't see the edge of that one. That's why I've drawn over the tower. Because that will work nicely. See? Oh, wrong one. Haha. <laughs> there we go. What are these? Rounded tower with castle bits on them. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you can have the extra bits for the castle. That is cool. I like that. Right, so this building actually goes behind that one, you see. So let's do this. 
What roof would this one have? Multicolored. I like the multicolored roof idea. Let's do that. Whoever thought of multicolored roofs, that was a good idea and applauded. Give them lots of applauds. Yes. <laughs> what am I talking about? Who knows? Who cares? Who sniffs? Mm. Well, that's wrong. There. Yeah, there we go. Now it's behind and it looks fantastic. And I will have no one say bad things. No, absolutely not. There we go. Nice. That's actually looking rather snazzy. I like this a lot. That is cool. I really like this. Oops. No. Right. Hmm. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Right, is there anything that says book on here? Not really, but we can have a hexagram on it, so I suppose we could put that on. Put that fairly high up there, like that. And this one, wow, there we go, Love that there. I'm going to put a door on it, an actual physical door at some point, and we'll see how it goes, And it'll because it'll be closed up, you see. It's all boarded up. There we go. <laughs> None of the windows are open. It's all boarded up. And there'll be a sign outside saying, uh, closed. In fact, let's put that in now. Where's a sign? Where's a good sign that says closed? Sign B, sign A. Okay, sign B. We'll stand that here. We'll set this up as an event. Actually, no. Let's, let's not do that. Let's not put the sign in physically. Let's have it set up just as a simple event in and of itself. Because then we can have it turn off later on. I like that. I like that idea. Yes. So let's do this. We're basically now world building and trying to tell the story with the world itself. New event page, self switch A on, and it'll just turn off. So this is the publisher's close sign. Right, let's do this. The image will be a sign. Da, 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 da. Yeah, priority is uh, same as characters. Right. New. No, don't transfer the player. What am I doing, man? Oh my goodness. Show text. Then show text. Let's do this. The sign says. Terra Secundus Romantic Book Publishers Terra Secundus Romantic Book Publishing Company not affiliated with the Terra Secundus very <laughs> romantic <laughs> book publishing company Out officers are permanent. The closed due to lack of readership. There we go. Not affiliated with the Terra Secundus very romantic book publishing company. <laughs> that has got to be the stupidest thing I've written in this game so far. It's the book publishing company. It's not the very book uh, romantic book publishing company. <laughs> no. Screw those guys. <laughs> <clears throat> this has got to be the stupidest the silliest thing but i love it so much that we're making ridiculous really stupid things 
It's like, it just seems fun, you know? So, so much fun. ba 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 da ba 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 da ba ba da 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 Right, so let's put in some more stuff. We need some more buildings. Not that many, but we do need some more. And they all need to be different styles because that way it looks cool. Right, we need a building here. Whoop, whoa, that's a weird looking one. Ooh, ooh, I like this. Right, we don't have, yeah. Okay, this is interesting. Just found out. I'm so excited. There's a Speed King 2. I don't know what that is. Speaking to... I remember speaking on the Amstrad. Is that the same thing? But well, hello, Savoy. How are you doing? Right. We can use shadows to suggest that there's a... A, uh, a roof, you see. So we just put a bit of shadow there. And that this sticks out, we can put a bit of shadow there. No, not there. There. So that front bit sticks out. We've got a very large building now, you see. That's cool. I like that. And we didn't have to draw anything on the top of it. So let's put in a big door. Uh, there we are. We put the door in there. There we are. Can I? Oh, could I change that? Oh, look at that, guys. That just makes no sense. I should not have done that. No. <laughs> But that works. Yeah, that works. That looks even better, actually. That's really cool. So let's put some uh, bases in here. The different thing. Yeah. That is. Yeah. So this is the hotel. This is this is a big hotel. Uh, or is it a big hotel? Actually, it could be the Chamber of Commerce, couldn't it? Da -da -da -da. There. And then place that over the top so that the, the window sits on top. There we go. Okay. Cool thing today. Mrs. Space Chicken got one of those handheld game emulators with 508 big games on for £8. Surprisingly good. All stuff that was on the NES and Master System. Excellent. Very nicely done. You found out there's a Speaking 2 motorcycle game by Master Tronic. I remember Speaking on the Amstrad. I didn't know they'd made a sequel. That's pretty cool. That is... I like that. I did like Speed King back in the day. It was a fun game. I should do a game I'm a review of it sometime. Oops, wrong button. I don't know why I did that. Uh, yeah, I should do it. Yeah, that'd be cool. So there's a really big building at the back, which rocks. Rocks our socks. Oh, yes. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. So now we're getting an interesting looking place. We've got a lot of stuff going on, you see. So it's, we should have... Uh, uh, da -da 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 that should have a big uh, chimbley. There we go. There's a chimney. That's the wrong type of chimney for that building. Put that there instead. Yeah, now we've got an interesting place. And it doesn't have to be huge, but I do like it. I like it a lot. We need a town well. Well, 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 well. Obviously, the town well is going to be next to the town hall, because that's just how it is. And there's another one over there. We've got a wizard living here for reasons. <laughs> there we go. And a few trees. Let's have some trees. There and there. One over here. And one over there as well. Just to make it look pretty, you know. Do 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 do
Yeah, okay, that's looking quite nice. And then flowers. Put some flowers there. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, now we've got a nice looking place. This is the type of place that you could imagine people might actually visit. You know? Yeah. <laughs> So we we've got it. Uh, we've got a nice place. We should probably put a wooden hut near the. Uh... Is there anything? Yeah, wood. That'll do. We just want a small hut. Yeah, and we'll have a doorway into there as well. There we go. It's a very small place, very small wooden hut, but I kind of like it. And that's all we need for this area, because that's Terra Secundus too. So we've actually got the village. And now we can start putting in cool stuff, such as the transporter to the other location. Why can't I? Oh, because it's, it's not events. Okay, yeah, let's do this. You. Cancel. We don't. We're just quick event creation of a transfer. Here we go. Transfer to Se Terra Secundus 1. There. Okay. There we go. Okay. Uh, Terra Secundus 1. We'll now have a transfer set certain position. No, not set certain position. Transfer. To Terra Secundus 2. There. Okay. And that's all we need. Right. <coughs> so that's all we need for that. So we can get in now. So the idea that we've got here is uh, we'll have the inn. Which is where we'll find a dodgy person. Who will tell us about a thieves guild. And then we can ask around somewhere else about the thieves guild and that will tell us about the secret entrance that's down here because we'll be dared to go down there you see and that's where we'll meet bone lord lord of bone <laughs> and that'll be uh part of a side quest thing we don't actually need to talk to the thieves guild or join it or anything like that to be able to play the game but it would be nice because that way you get to know about the extra dude. You can add an extra dude to your party. Hi, John. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good night. So, we've got this now. And we should really populate a lot of this. Vicky forgot uh, uh, before up to 10 is streaming time. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Come on, man. It's fine. Right. Let's get some dudes. Uh, let's go to Numpty Land. Yes. Why do I need to go to Numpty Land? Because I want to copy the dog and I don't want to have to deal with uh, actually de typing all this stuff in again about woof and all of that. Terra Secundus 2. Here we are. So let's put a dog here. A dog here. A dog here. Terra Secundus 1 has some chickens. We definitely want some chickens. Copy that. They just wander around, you see. Because why not? Why wouldn't you want a few chickens here and there? So there we are. Right, save that. We will, of course, have some people wandering around. And that's what we're going to put in now. Like a dude over here. New. A random dude. What image shall we use for random dude? People. Uh, yep, that'll do as a random dude just there. He looks like... A, he looks very random, doesn't he? Incredibly random. Just basic doodlinger. Hey, I am late. Oh, okay. Well, let's put it this way. No one is ever late when it comes to the Game Hammer shows because we are all together stuck in the past. There you go. <laughs> right. This dude is not going to tell us much if we go and talk to him, but let's do it. Show text. Hello. <laughs> Wait, hang on. What with my people? <laughs> right.
Random people one. Hello, there we are. That's all he says. <laughs> it's just a random dude. And we'll have another one over there. I just like putting in random dudes into places. It gives them it gives the place a sense of life when they start wandering around and doing their own thing. So why did I do that? Because I want to make sure that it actually looks right when it goes. Oh, that's interesting. So we, I might as well have avoided doing all that. Okay. Right. Okay. We'll just draw that to there and leave it like that. Maybe it comes out somewhere around here. I don't know. Let's put that in now. Right, D, no, C. Yeah, that's it. Grab all of that and place that so that it's over the top. Some would say very over the top. They would be wrong. There we go. Right, there you go. That looks better. That looks interesting. It looks fun. Apparently I've just been charged for Amazon Prime again. Oh dear. I should remember to cancel that at some point. Well, I've got it for another month now, so I suppose I'm with it. <laughs> I used to be with it, and then they changed what it was. Why am I like this? Who knows? <laughs> Who cares? Who smells? <laughs> what am I talking about? There we are. So that building is really tall. And yeah, cast a fair size shadow. Been looking at some PlayStation games, but nothing has caught my eye just yet. Ah, these things happen. You'll, you'll find something and then you'll play it for ages and love it. That's how it normally works. Right. That's... No, that doesn't look right. Yeah. So we've got our situation. What's this guy here for? I don't know yet, but I really like the idea of a little tiny hut next to the, the next to the water, and perhaps another one made out of logs over here, just so that we've got some. There could be rivalry between <laughs> between uh, between shacks or something like that. <laughs> I just like the idea of these two guys that really don't like each other but live right next to each other. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, that guy, he's been over again, or on my side of the place, or, ah, ooh, and all of that, yeah. Right, save that. So, we've got this situation. We need to now go back to uh, the Numpty Nan City Council, because we need a dude. This dude, to be precise, because this is Captain Bankman, and he's going to be our bank manager for this area so we go back to Terra Secundus 2 we now have to make a decision uh, what is the inside of this building going to look like probably not very big but we need to put it in there so let's do this new TS bank <laughs> <laughs> and the it'll be an inside one uh, inside yes width will be let's say eight height would be six it won't be a big place okay there we are there so it's the interior let's do this let's do this so what have we got for the floor well we need something nice wire mesh no we we can have oh we can have nice marble walls okay mr w banker <laughs> the B is silent. <laughs> oh, I like it. I shouldn't. I shouldn't laugh, but I am going to because I like it. <laughs> Mr. W. Banker. The B is silent. 
Oh. There we are. We've got marble walls. It's a very interesting place. Interior wall stuff. No, I need some floor. Where's some flooring? Where's some nice flooring? Rug. Straw mat. Wood floor. Okay, let's see how that goes. That looks awful. Excellent. <laughs> Wood floor. Try the better one. Oh, that's much better. Got a much better look to it. There we are. Right. There we go. Okay. Right. We need to um, need a table. Where's a table? We've got to have a table. Is that a table? These are blacksmith tables. That could work. Letter case. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got st we got some ideas now. Right, lots of treasure chests at the back, and a, a letter case. Yes, is that an open? Oh, I like that case. It's open. It's got jewels in it. Yeah. Right, is that a ledger? No, that's a map. We could put a map on the wall. Yeah, that works. Uh, an old book. No, that doesn't work at all. Okay, well, we've got some stuff now. Let's put a table out. Is there a big table we can put out? Is that a book? Closed book. Would that fit on top of there? Oh, good grief, no. That would not fit on there. We've done this before, though. Where's the, where's the table we used? Well, that's a reasonable-sized table. It's got, like, church stuff on it. Will I be watching June Part 2? Absolutely, I'll be watching June Part 2. I devoured the book as a kid. It was great. Frank Herbert's not the greatest guy when you read about his many, many oddities and his opinions on gay people. But aside from that, yeah, at least, well, that's the advantage of being able to separate art from artists these days, of course, because he's dead, so he's not actually benefiting from this stuff anymore. So, yeah, I'll definitely be there. I'll be there. Absolutely. Right, there we go. Right, is that going to work? Yeah, let's do this. It's a shame we haven't got a rounded, a more rounded table, but okay. Right, uh, there's the table. The table is actually going to be what you interact with. I'm going to make that, yeah. I'm going to make that work now. Watch this. So, control V. We now have a dude, and he's effectively stood on a table. But if I take the image out, and just stand this dude behind the table as a random person, an event that doesn't do anything, then this will work. Right, where is the guy? There he is. Okay, he's fixed. He does nothing. But if we go in, we can talk to him. So let's set the player, set starting position for the player. Okay. And let's go. Does that change the game? Yes. Right, here we go. New game. doesn't work why does it not work we should be able to talk to that guy we should be able to talk to this event edit this event below characters ah because it's not a person anymore same as characters fixed position try this save changes the game yes yeah i i agree with you there patrick about buying the blu-ray second hand so that they don't get the money Welcome to the Numpty Bank. Now we have an event where we look like we're talking to this guy here. But from the point of view of the computer and the game it's code itself, we're actually talking to this table. <laughs> but it works. You've not even seen the first June yet. Oh, it's worth it. It's really good. I like what they did with the, with the Galak language. Because uh, it looks 
it looks futuristic and alien, and I really like it. It's so well done. So we can put some... Is that books on the... Yeah, books are on the wall now. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. Oh, I love this game. I love it. Not game. This program. I love it. It's so well done. Okay, I'm now going to remove the fact that we've got this uh, open chest because that seems like a really bad idea, you know, <laughs> for it being out in the open and put that one there. <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, the films aren't that... The, the worst part is the films aren't that bad. Rowling is actually a decent writer and it kills me to say that because she's such an obnoxious person in real life. So if you do if you do decide to watch the films, you'll probably have a good time. That's the worst part. Sacks of uh, stuff. Can we put them? No, that just looks ridiculous. Okay, there we go. Right. Right. If we now uh, set starting position of player to there, we can copy all this stuff over to the other side as well and have two. Numpty banks. Uh, so why not? Because why shouldn't we? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Put the table there. We'll have another person over on the other side. So copy that. For there. And for that. For there. Edit this one. Fixed position. The guy will now look the other way. I like buying David Hike books from charity shops and reading them for a laugh and then binning them as community service. <laughs> oh, the one I saw in the charity shop that I couldn't even bring myself to ironically read was Dianetics. I actually found a copy of that in a charity shop. It's like, no, watch this here. Edit this as uh, priority same as characters. So we've got two Numpty Bank people in here now. Anyway, idea when June is out on DVD. The uh, the part one is out on DVD now. I don't know when the second one is. So let's have a look. Uh, June part two DVD release date. Uh, da -da 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 -da. June part two is HMV on there. There's no way it's already out. If it is, I'm buying it today. Let's have a look at HMV. Uh, when Released coming soon. They don't know when. They don't know when. So, yeah. That's a shame. But I, I need to see it. I need to see it. Part, yeah. Uh, I need to, I, I need it, man. I, I fit, medically need this thing. <laughs> Quick event creation transfer. Terra uh, Secundus 2. Outside the bank. Okay. And go back to Terra Secundus 2. Quick event creation transfer to the bank. There. Okay. There we go. Right. Save the game. Right, we should be able to have conversations with both tables in the place now, which is what we want. Do, 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 do. Welcome to the Numpty Bank. We should probably change the name to Terra Secundus Bank. There we are. We're in our, we're in our city. Go out to here. Go back into here. That is the only place that we can go into. But at least we're here. We can do stuff. Right, let's check that we can walk around and that all the dogs say woof. Woof. Can't walk through there. Can't walk through there at all. So we have to go around. Oh, we can't go across there because there's a freaking dog in the way. Get out of the way, dog. <laughs> oh dear we can walk behind there but we can't walk behind a roof so we can't get through we can't get through to the other side oh. 
That's a shame. That's a real shame because I wanted to be able to walk through there. Okay, well. Oh, we can go everywhere else, though. We can get to everywhere else. It's a bit of a slog, but we can do it. So, right. Let's do this. Okay. We need to clean up this town by making it possible to get through to places. <laughs> I think you've got a June Amiga game. Is it? Oh, is it June 2, the battle for, the battle for Arrakis? Because I love that one. It's so good. Uh, was it Battle for... Foundation of a Dynasty or something like that? It, June 2 is such a good game. It's it's essentially Command and Conquer from before Command and Conquer. It's so good. I love it. Absolutely. Oops. Love it. All right, leave that there. Oh, that means where we can put the road in now. That's the one. Yeah. Oh, that game, I played so much of that game as a... As a teenager, it's such a good game. I really love it. There we are. Wait, we should be able to get past there. Yeah, that's the one that inspired Command and Conquer. I adore that game. It's hard as nails at times. Like, seriously, it gets so tough, especially when the Sada car turn up, until you remember that you can harvest them. You can drive over the, the Sada car with your harvester. <laughs> <laughs> it is so cruel and yet so funny. <laughs> oh, I did that so much. You don't get any spice when you do that, but you can but you do get satisfaction. And yeah, I liked the satisfaction. I can get some satisfaction. Oh yes, I can get some satisfaction i will try <laughs> there we go we've got some nice places here Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. now we can get through and everything will be walkable and it'll be nice and we will all be happy yes we will oh, we should play june 2 sometime i'd have to install it but we should play it let's do this it was a Command and Conquer type Jurassic Park game released in 98 for PC based around the Lost What? That is that Operation Genesis? Because I've got that on uh J J J J J J J J J Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Or is this a different one? Right, we can now get through here. Yes, we yes we can. Let's talk to one of the one of the weirdos. Hello! There you are. <laughs> Let's start with this chicken. Bark! <laughs> we, we can't get over to there for the moment. Oh, the kid's in the way. We can't get past him. Do the kids not... The kids don't wander, so we can't get past. They're essentially just annoying barriers in the way. Oh, we need to have the kids wander. Otherwise, what's the point? It's called Chaos Island. Ah, I don't remember that one. These all work, walk in here. Right, we need to make the kids walk, otherwise we've essentially blocked off this area. I've never seen the game June. The original uh, June, I, I never see it around. There's a The original uh, game June is a role-playing game, I believe. Yeah. Uh, but June 2 is a real-time strategy. It's one of those early real-time strategies, which is really cool. Uh, ran nope, not fixed. Random. They should wander randomly. Why can't I press the... There we go. Random, random. Two over there. And there's one more. Yep, there he is. Edit this one. Edit. Random. Okay. Okay. So, we're now going to start changing some of these guys so that they all look different. Because we don't want... This isn't a, a, build, a an area full of clones. We should have different people. There's another one. Okay. And edit this. So, people. That'll be him. Okay. Hello. Yeah, hello. And this guy should be a different person as well. Edit that. Who would this be? 
When the pandemic started, I used to look at my dad staring eerily through the window. Is this going to be a joke that you should have let him in? Is that is that what? <laughs> I did let him in. I just didn't want to take the risk. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant, <laughs> but called it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. <laughs> there we are. We've got a slightly older person now. Hello. Right. There we go. Right. We've got the the beginnings of stuff now. So, let's have a look. Did it, did it, did it, did it. New game. Quest for the game. Ha -ha. So, there we are. These guys will never move because they're stuck behind tables. But they move it's different people now you see du -du -du -du. he's blocked our route we can't get past <laughs> it's him and the freaking dog are blocking the way <laughs> oh <laughs> there you are and then there's another person over there so now we can get past if the freaking chicken gets out the way oh my goodness we can't get past. The chickens just stood there. <laughs> Come on, chicky, chicky. Come on, chicky, chicky. No, don't go back the other way. I need to get past your chicken. Oh my goodness, we've we've got some kind of poultry-based blockage. <laughs> Hi, Santec. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> we can't get past because I've put the chickens in the wrong place. Oh dear. Right, we're get we're getting there. So it would technically Right, we need to sort this out. We can't have the chickens like that. Right, move that up there. Yeah. There we go. And that one's gonna cause a bother as well, so let's put them over there. Yeah. Okay. And then move this gitter over here so that they won't start being in the way and then we should be okay yeah the dogs are there right there so that should work out it's a bouncer chicken your name ain't on the list <laughs> i'm doing all right thanks thanks for asking so we've got uh stuff coming along now which is going to be good okay right let's go into what we should do next so do, 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 do. Right. Right, let's uh, put a new event here. Because this is the book publisher. New. It's going to be an event of door. Where's the door? Where's the door? There it is. Door one. Door two. No, door one. That's the type of door we want. Yes. Actually, let's put, just to be pedantic, let's put, there we go, door. Publishing house door. Right. New. Show text. The door is locked. A sign on. A sign is pin. A sig. It's pinned. No, sign is nailed to the to the wood reading out of business. Thanks for not reading our super fantastic romantic Novels, <laughs> you bastards. <laughs> I enjoyed that too much. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at what. That's good. The stupidest thing I've written so far. Thanks for not reading our books, you bastards. 
Right, now covers the entrance, so that, that is actually pretty damn cool, actually. The door is locked. A sign nailed to the wood. There's a sign is nailed to the wood reading. Out of business. Thanks for not reading our super fantastic romantic novels, you bastards. <laughs> there we go. And, uh, let's have a read of this one. The sign says, Terra Secundus Romantic Book Publishing Company. Not affiliated with the Terra Secundus Very Romantic Book Publishing Company. <laughs> Offices are permanently closed due to a lack of readership. Oh. Due to lack readership. Yeah, that sounds great. Actually, we should take that last bit off there. Because we've essentially just doubled up onto the other other one, haven't we? Right, edit this. There we are. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, actually, let's change this one. Ever thought of coding display signs and announcements for We Are Yard? I have not, but that would actually be really cool. We can actually change this now. Let's do this. This should be conditional, you see. Uh, conditional branch. So, a switch of... Uh, where is it? Ba a buyer has been found for the books. Because that that's the thing. If the, if the buyer found switch is on... Then you can then the door will open and you can go in. Else this. So it's if biofound is on, then can we actually animate it? Is there a possibility of animating this? I don't think there is. Uh, da -da 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 Show animation. There is. Yeah, publishing house door, animation, oh, no, that's not what we want, cancel that, uh, transfer player, we could transfer the player into the, the next area, but at the moment we're just going to transfer the player to there, okay. So, if it works, if if we've found a, a way to, to do this, uh, if, if a buyer has been found for the books, basically, then the, um, the, the Bandit King will stop harassing people in the, um, in the, the passageway between Terra Secundus and Numpty Land, else the door's locked, the cell's nailed, there's a sign nailed to the wood. <laughs> So let's go in and check that that works. Yes. Have you ever heard of one man's trash is one man's treasure? Well, I have, but it's a horrid way of finding out you're adopted. Oh my goodness! Oh, Colonel, your your humour fits so in so well with this crowd. There we are. Doors locked. Sign says, thanks for not reading our super fantastic romantic novels, you bastards. Uh, Terra Secundus Romantic Book Publishing Company. Not affiliated with the Terra Secundus Very Romantic Book Publishing Company. There we are. So that works. Uh, and that that's nice. And that actually covers up the entranceway very nicely, which is cool. Right, close that. Because we have to do one more thing. Right. I need to edit what this guy says. No, we don't edit the guy because you're not, from the game code point of view, you're not talking to the guy because he's too far away. The table would block you. You're talking to the table, <laughs> which I find hilarious. Right, let's do this. <laughs> Welcome to the Terra Secundus Bank. How may I assist you today? Actually, Terra Secundus Bank, that's what we'll take. Terra Secundus. Copy that. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. There's not an awful lot of times where he says it. Thank you for visiting. Yes, edit. Visiting the Terra Secundus Bank today. Okay. Very well. Thank you for visiting the Numpty Land Bank to Terra Secundus Bank. Okay. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. There, Numpty Land Bank. Edit. Terra Secundus Bank. 
We're only going to do this once. We're going to copy it to the other guy in a moment. That's another one where it says Numpty Land Bank. Numpty Land Bank. Edit this. Hi, James. How you doing? Tell us the Contest Bank. Numpty Land Bank again. Edit this. I should have just had this as a jump to label, but we didn't for some reason. Oh, well. He does this all the time, doesn't he? I really should have had this as a, as a label and just jumped to a label, but I didn't. Because I only wrote this bit out of spite, because you can't bank your points in the battle battle square in uh, final fantasy 7 and i wanted to show that it was really easy to program a bank <laughs> i was really peed off that night wasn't i there we go toast the country's bank uh, da, 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 da. how many times is he gonna say this one thing i should have put this in as a label but i didn't and it's very obnoxious and i don't like it and also it smells of bums and farts we need a character called Bumfart <laughs> to go with Bumface. Perhaps it's his brother. Have you met my brother Bumfart? No, I haven't. But he sounds a bit stinky. He is a bit stinky. Oh, yes. So oh, very much so. Right. Change this one. There we go. Uh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Do -do -do -do. I love that you have written a simulated financial institution because of being annoyed at a game. Yeah, well, why wouldn't I? Just to prove that you freaking can. It's It annoys me so much that they didn't. And put this there. Just, to, just because. Okay, they've got different books with different textures. Might be, we perhaps have some derivatives trading. To, that would be interesting, actually. If I could put like a stock market in, you could make a huge amount of gold just by trading on stocks. If it, if I could find a way of doing it randomly so that the stocks trade, change the stock prices tra change every time you go in, that would be cool. So I've got different uh, books on the tables. Welcome to the Terra Secundus Bank. I may assist you today. Uh, nothing for me right now. Very well. Thank you for vis visiting the Terra Secundus Bank. And they both they both look exactly the same. I can confirm that you have nothing in your account. Hooray! <laughs> there we go. And we can wander around all over the place. Stock market would be cool. I'd yeah, like Railroad Tycoon. That would be so cool if we could do that. That would be great. <laughs> I really like the idea of a stock market. Maybe we'll try and put that in next time. Just so we can see if we can. Bumpu is the next brother. Yes. We can't walk across. We can't get across. Oh, my goodness. You see, this is why I have to chest all these things, because I'm not paying attention when I'm making the making the stuff to how wide it is. Right, let's go over here and make this river slightly smaller on this one side. There we are. Now we should be able to get through. And it should be possible to get everywhere now. Let's play that. Save changes. Yes. The stock market simulation railroad tycoon was actually quite sophisticated. Yeah, I remember it was actually pretty good. It was a nice way of uh, getting extra cash at some points. You should write a stock market simulator game in basic on the humble CPC. There is one. I played it. I played it on uh, CPC and I think it was uh, episode two, but I might be mistaken. But yeah, we definitely played a stock market simulator on CPC. It wasn't too bad, actually. <laughs> Excuse me. <sighs> Alright, we should be able to get through all of this now. Oh, man. There's so much building work going on in this area that there's dust in the air and I keep sneezing all the time. It's ridiculous. Right, there we are. Uh, no reason why I couldn't do my own. Absolutely. There we go. So we can now get to everywhere. I wish I still had the game Railroad Tycoon. I think it's on um, good old games, or at least Railroad Tycoon 2. Or if not, then it's on Steam. I can't remember which, but I've definitely played it. It's really good. There we are. There we go. 
So, we can get everywhere now. There's a stock market simulator on CPC. I feel a Monday Night Live request coming out. Ah, yeah, go for it. <laughs> it doesn't look brilliant. It really doesn't look good. It, it, it's a fairly basic looking game. But it's surprisingly sophisticated in its stocks. Oh my goodness. Right, guys. So, we've got a working town here, kind of. And, uh... There we are. Perhaps... Yeah, okay. I've got an idea. With this stock market thing, one of these guys in the bank should allow you to buy and sell stocks. So instead of uh, one of them... Well, both of them being the, uh, the the banker, one could be the stock market. That would actually be cool. That, that would be really cool. I like that idea. Oh, yeah. We should definitely do that. Put that in as at another time. But for now, I think we've got the basis of something good here. We've now got the ability to... Um, we still have to find where we're going to find that Pillar of Autumn thing. So, I don't know what we're going to do there. I do know what we're going to do there. Right. We've got this situation here where, where in order to get the guy out of there, we should... Um, we're going to need the Pillar of, Pillar of Autumn. Pillar of Autumn is needed to get past this. So where would we find the Pillar of Autumn? We actually have a fair amount of stuff already here. We could have it in the tunnel. Or we could go down. Where's the big pit? There's not a huge amount that we've done in here in the big pit. I love the idea of marching calls in a <laughs> in a fantasy RPG. If you can't cover the the funds for a marching call, imagine the heavies that are going to come and get you. <laughs> right. I don't think there's a possibility of us putting like X marks a spot somewhere. Yes, uh, to, <laughs> to meet a margin call, the stock exchange sends out a character. You have to have to go back to the bank and meet the margin call or defeat the character in battle. I love it. I love it. Right, let's set. Let's create an event. Uh, let's do this. New event. And then we'll have to end this because uh, it's getting late. But we need an event. Let's have a look. Uh, other. What have we got? Got a set of footprint. Oh. Oh. We could do some very interesting stuff. Sci-fi dot. No, we don't want sci-fi. Is that a phone box? There was a phone box style doors. We could put a TARDIS in. Oh. No. And that's, that's, that's stick. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. <laughs> what the frick are they? That's just weird. Oh. Oh, there's all kinds. Right. Uh, da -da -da -ba -da -da -ba 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 -ba. I, what I'm looking for is um, just some random thing on the floor. Yeah, let's do the footprint. Let's do the footprints. Where where are the footprints gone? Other yeah. Right, I want footprints on the floor. Okay, this. Footprints. New. So, show text. There appear to be a lot of footprints on the ground here. Like someone spent a lot of time in this precise spot. Okay. Now, new. Conditional branch. We need a conditional branch with an else branch. Okay. 
now, uh, I don't want the conditional branch of main mission accepted. <laughs> <clears throat> I want a conditional branch of inventory. Where's the inventory? If we have a certain item, where's... Don't we have an item? Or a weapon of... No? We don't have an item of a... Huh. We don't. We, we'd never put in a... We must just assume that we've got a shovel with us. Okay, that's fine. We did have to buy some rope, but never mind. Uh, new option. Uh, show text, show choices. Take a good look around. Shrug. And leave. <laughs> oh, just shrug. Choice two is cancel, so... New. Show text. Ah, it's probably nothing. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now, this time we take a good look around. Show text. On closer inspection, it seems like someone may have buried something here and then walked all over the ground to try to hide the fact that they'd disturbed the soil. Okay. New. Show text. No, not show text. Show choices. Dig in the ground. Shrug. <laughs> uh, new. Uh, label. Shrug. If you dig, if you shrug, new, jump to label, shrug. Eh, it's probably nothing. And then end the conditional event, exit event processing. But if you dig in the ground, new, show text. You begin to dig. Okay. New. Where's the fade out? We should, we could, should have some fun with the shrug. Absolutely. Fade out the screen. Yeah. It's your text. Time. That's this. Okay. Yeah. Two. Uh, fade in the screen. Now... Show text. This will be Bumface. Talking. Where's Bumface? There he is. What's this? Okay. New. Show text. Where's the cat? The melody. Where's the cat? Nature. There we are. Hello, I'm a cat. It looks like a small diorama of a tree. Then Bumface will say something. It's your text. Bumface. Okay. Why would anyone want to bury this? New. Show text. Do, 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 do. Melody equals fluff, yes. Nature, uh, cat again. I don't know. <laughs> Why are you asking me? <laughs> New. 
show text. Bump face, there we go, that one. Good point. Sometimes I forget that you don't know everything. Anyway, I'm keeping I'm keeping the diorama. It's fun. It's cool. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> New. Uh, change items. We now get to increase the amount of the Pillar of Autumn that we have. Okay. This is a quick text. Pillar of Autumn found. Do you sometimes forget that Melody doesn't know everything, Patrick? <laughs> Edit. Can I change the colour of text? Is that possible? I'm not sure it's possible. That would be cool if it was. Okay, this is the pill of autumn found. And new. It's control self switch to A on. Okay. New events page. This is for self switch A being on. The image should now be of a uh, tile set. I think it's C. Or is it B? Of a, or is it D? Of a hole in the ground. What's that? Yeah, that'll, that'll work. Okay. No, that won't work because that's a set of stairs. How about that one? Okay. Yeah, that's a hole in the ground. Kind of. I'm not sure I want that. There, that, that one's probably best. Yeah, that looks right. New. Show text. There's a hole in the ground. Some some thieving git must have nicked whatever was buried here. Who would do such a thing? <laughs> Ah oh dear, what are we like? Okay, there we go. Do -do -do -do. Okay. Set starting position of player. And let's test this, make sure it works. Here we go. Let's do this. New game. So we're going to test this bit out now. We can't really see the, the footprints. Oh, that's okay. There appear to be a lot of footprints on the ground here. Like someone spent a lot of time in this precise spot. Shrug. Eh, yeah, it's probably nothing. There appear to be a lot... The footprints keep changing direction. That is so good. Take a good look around. On closer inspection, it seems like someone may have buried something here. And then walked all over the ground to try and hide the fact that they disturbed the soil. Shrug. Eh, it's probably nothing. <laughs> right, take a good look around. And dig in the ground. You begin to dig. Time passes. What's this? It looks like a small diorama of a tree. Why would anyone want to bury this? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Good point. Sometimes I forget that you don't know everything. Anyway, I'm keeping the diorama. It's cool. Pillar of Autumn found. And then we've got this on the ground now. <laughs> Escape. Oh. oh, we're getting beaten up by slimes because it's a random encounter. Escape! Right, we've escaped. Right, we stand here. The hole in the ground. 
Some thieving git must have nicked whatever was buried here. Who would do such a thing? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so now we've got the ability to find the Pillar of Autumn. If you're looking close enough. Definitely climb back up the long coil of rope. There we go. Then we end up back in the main area, which is looking a bit barren compared to everything else, to be honest with you. All right, copied that onto there because you could climb up all of it. There we go. And, yep. Okay, there we go. So, we're now going to set this back to the starting of world map of the numpty tent. This is where we actually start the game properly. Quick event creation. No, st starting position. Player. There we go. Quick. Hang on. Quick event creation of an inn. Huh. Okay. I need to see what this does. So, save changes to the game. Yes. What does this do? Tenki for one night. Would you like to stay? Yes. You don't have enough money. Huh. Okay. So that just builds us an in character f just like that. That is actually pretty cool. Uh, let's, can we edit this Get to add extra stuff? Yeah, we can. Okay. Uh, so that's pretty cool. We can... Uh, that, right. There is one more thing we need to do, though. Tools, database. Okay. Uh, uh, actors. With the moment, when we fight, we have an extra person, and it's because we've got space here for a love truncheon. So let's have a look at... Uh, uh, starting party is those three. Cancel. Oh! That's interesting. There is a there is room for a third person. We've got a third person there. What's our currency? Um, quids. There we are. It's annoying that we seem to have space for these. Delete that. We shouldn't have that. No! Control Z. Melody. It should be starting with us. There shouldn't be a third person. And it annoys me that we that we have. Okay. There we go. Okay. We can change the window colour. Let's have a purple. But obnoxious purple. Like, like seriously obnoxious. Very green. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's good. Okay. I'm basically faffing about now. I, I want us to see whether we can get the them to change the amount of people that we start with and not have space for an extra dude because it's very annoying that we do at the moment it's like we've got three people at this it shouldn't be like that let's hope that this has worked by taking that one out and then adding melody back in and seeing if that works okay start we're going to start for a Currency PS2 games. <laughs> I just like the idea of it being 10 quid. <laughs> oh, I like the I like the new look on the, the titles. On the menus even. Right, we're in. Right, let's go and talk to this thing and see if... We, yeah, here we go. Slime. Do we have... Right, it doesn't look like we have an extra third person now. Argue. Magic. Rant. Magic. Savage Burn on Slime A. Yeah, we, we haven't got an extra person now. We seem to have accidentally added a third character but not named them. 
so we ended up with a third with three shadows on our side and the third shadow which didn't have any person in it could fight <laughs> it just made no bloody sense so it looks like we've got everything working now which is fantastic okay that's great that is great so we've got the game running and it's working fairly well actually i'm, I'm very happy with it Melee's weapon should be hissing and spitting. Yeah, but you got to remember, she turns into a mage for battles at the moment. So I'll have to work out what to do with her with that. So, we've got the bank. We've got uh, the hidden zone, which we now can get into if we've found that particular thing. You know, the, the little uh, pillar of autumn. And next time, we'll be able to add in more stuff. Like the fact that in the end, we'll find Guy Incognito again. Anyone remember Guy Incognito? We have seen him. He's that guy there. He's actually the main bad guy. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> and he'll turn up at some point, which is fun. Oh, dear. The things we do. Empty Land City Council. Right. I need to have a look at these doors. Because at the moment, when you open the doors, it fades out the entire room. Turn left, wait three frames. Turn right, wait three times. Frames turn up, through, on. What a strange thing. That's... Whoa. That is weird. I don't want... I don't know what to do with that. So I'm going to leave that there. I approve of Simpsons references. Yeah! <laughs> he's just weird. But anyway, he's the main bad guy. And it's quite funny. <laughs> I wonder... Numpty, can I have edit this? this? The condition switch should be mission accepted. Main mission accepted. Okay. We should only see him if the main mission's accepted. Otherwise, nothing. Okay. Let's see if that works. Save so changes the game. I just want to see if this works. He shouldn't show up unless. Unless the mission's been accepted. So let's try this. If we just ignore her and leave, he shouldn't be in the inn. Get out the way, dude. <laughs> People keep walking in front of everything I'm trying to do. He's not there! He's not there! Okay, Guy Incognito is not there. We can walk through here. If we stand here. He doesn't get uh, spoken to. Okay. Just got to turn my monitor back on. Right. That is fantastic. So, let's do this. <laughs> we need someone with no visual presence or substance. Nick Clegg. <laughs> Politics. All right, let's go in here. And talk to her. Greetings, Captain Bumface. I knew you would come. You could never resist barging in on strangers' tents. Who are you? His dinner's there, but he's not. Yeah, I'll sort that out in a minute. I am Zoe, Weaver of Tales. I have a mission for you, if you should choose to accept it. What is it? Bumface, our land is in peril once again. I must ask you to venture forth and recover the game hammer, so that we might use its mighty power to defeat a great evil. I'll do it. Fantastic. It's on a mountain somewhere. You'll probably need to pack a lunch. I think it'll be a long trip. Good luck, and remember to bring it back here. <laughs> right, let's go in. Do -do -do, do -do. And in. And he's not there. That's... Oh, I really thought we'd sorted that out there. I really thought that would work. So he's just not there. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, empty tent. Let's go in. All right, let's have a look at this. Edit. Uh, mission accepted is on, so that's a control switch. So, numpty land. Numpty in. I really wanted that to work. Why does it not work? Yeah. 
Oh well. Just remove this one, delete event page. That's a real burger. I really want that to work. It was just not there. Okay. <laughs> well, it was worth a try. Maybe he should just stay there, you know, just hanging around. Who knows? And we can we can work on the rest of it later about what he... Yeah, actually, let's just have him sit there all the time with his lunch. And we'll put in conditions regarding what he says... Based on where, where in the uh, thing you are, where in the game you are, we could end up with a really complex set of conditions for him to answer different questions in a condescending tone because he's a git. <laughs> yeah, that could, that could work. Oh, great. Let's do that. Let's leave that there then. So he should turn up this time. One more try. try. We'll go back in and we'll make sure that this works. So we'll leave it there as it is. New game. It's weird, though, that he couldn't uh, turn up based on that condition being set, because it was set. So hopefully he's still there. Every damn time he walks in front of me like a git. He's there this time, that's okay. Right. And down these stairs is where the Iron Horse is. <laughs> Iron Horse. Lord of Horses. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, could just mumble dismissively if you haven't unlocked him. Yes, exactly. At the moment, he actually does just talk condescendingly at people, which is pretty funny. <laughs> right, so we've got Terra Secundus 2. We have to do the ten the City Hall, the inside the Publishing Guild later on, the Inn and the Weapons Place. But at the moment, that's really all we've got time for, because it's 20 to 11, so we've been going for 2 hours 40 minutes at the moment. But uh, I think we're doing good with this. It's really coming together, and I think it's starting to get a good personality to it, which is always fun. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. And I'm just going to jump back to here, where I can say hi. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have. Take care. Have a great evening. I'll see you next time, and I'll leave you with an outro. No, I won't, because it didn't work. Ah, where's the buttons? Where is it? Where's the intro? There. See you later, guys. Take care. Have a great evening. I'll be back tomorrow where we're playing Grand Theft Auto 3 as a, as a complete play. So we'll see how we go from there. But until then, I've been Zoe Kirk Robinson. You've been watching Live Game Coding. Take care. Have a great evening. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>